with July on the horizon, we're on that last minute or glimpse to just keep everything good that happened in June. But to everyone's surprise, these last few days of the month were insanely huge, as opposed to bringing new games. Today we're looking at about 30 more new awesome games to play right now for free on your Android and iOS devices as well. Let's go. Number 1. With over 100,000 downloads since only 2 days ago, we've got over here the one and only Tactical Ragdoll action strategy game, the very Tactical Ragdoll itself, which is quite a bit to some extent the same old totally accurate battle simulator or tabs in short, but it's a really solid game to be honest, it's a 5 out of 5 in my opinion, but it is only rated down to its resemblance to the other game. Check it out, this one's about 100 megabytes initially, it's free and even playable offline. behind that, with over 100,000 downloads again since only 3 days ago, we've got over here the number 5 rated free to play strategy of 2023 something called Outlaw Cowboy. Almost a kind of a spiritual successor here to the other game Build Your Own Kingdom or Rise of Kingdoms. It's a really really nice game in replay and visuals, it's actually playable both online and offline, well technically online. It's about 1 gigabyte in size which is probably the only downside of it, but what it takes in that department, it actually makes up for in content a lot more. Grand Smile Studios finally opened the official page for Paul Rumble on the Google Play this very day. Now bear with me for a second, I know the visuals, but it's the action arcade pixel art platformer where we've heard nothing but good for months, which is honestly a miracle of its own kind, since it's almost downloaded a million times in less than a week. Guys, Paul Rumble is playable both online and offline. It's now bringing everything the Asian version, initial version of the game came out with a month ago, a very fast and intuitive gameplay and so much more. Tag Top, on the other hand, came out way globally a few days ago. It's sitting on the Play Store with almost 500,000 downloads and a 4.5 out of 5 already. I don't think I'm exaggerating if I tell you that this is the best free to play turn based strategy I've personally had hands on for years. When I had the chance to do that a month ago, and now this game is actually five times better, at least in English. Tag Top is a divine game in visuals. Music, the characters, and definitely a console quality in every damn way. Number 5, we have Middle Slot Awakening, now available worldwide, downloaded over 100,000 times for only 2 days and has a 4.4 out of 5 as well. Awakening, in case you just missed it, is a RPG run and gun now, as opposed to just a simple plain old shooter and run and gun. The game is of course playable only online, this is literally the only downside of it. Hopefully that will change in the future, it's about 1 gigabyte in size. It's getting constant updates, new content, more characters, new skins and it's actually free all the way. Number 6, just a quick mention over here since this game's already around for like 2 years, but now available in English and globally available for a week now. It's actually Honkai Star Rail's previous iteration or its initial form, a game called Honkai Impact 3 VN, which is just the same old semi-open world action RPG mobile and PC game with gorgeous graphics, super fluid controls and gameplay. Just remember, on your phone it's about 1-3 to three gigabytes of content with crossplay for PCs though it's about 15 gigabytes at least. Number 7, we have a something called Kuruk Shitra Ascension. This is a card based action strategy that's been in its pre registration state on the Play Store and the beta testing for over a year now, which is now finally available fully and are within north of 100,000 downloads and 4.4 in the western regions only. If you did like Hearthstone, Blizzard games, but found it a bit too heavy on your phone and the fact that that's a pay to win game, what this game has to offer rids of these two problems on top of that offers this Indian lore myth. Games free and about a gigabyte in size.
Number 8. It's gotta be my favorite game of all time on the Play Store. Although I've already purchased this one last year and played it through a demo like two years ago when it came out on PCs. If you haven't seen what we've got over here, Lost in Play is a puzzle point and click adventure and everything you just ever dreamed of a perfect retro cartoony goodness, like a Cuphead game but a totally different genre and has the greatest quality and detail than the rest of the list here, period. This game is a 10 out of 10, actually a 5 out of 5 on the Play Store. It's set to be released fully next month and takes down about 1 gigabytes in its current state. It's also playable offline eventually. In a world where legends are born and kingdoms rise and fall, King Arthur Legend Rise technically last week went on and received its open pre-registration phase on both platforms and to our surprise it was only for a few days because the game is now available officially out there with over 2 million registered players and some next level graphics for a turn-based medieval probably the best in the looks we've seen in months squad-based RPG. This is how it looks the game is free it's actually from the same developers of Marvel's Contest of Champions and quite a bit like that game although in a totally different era. The greatest thing also about King Arthur here is it's playable with crossplay on PCs and actually free all the way. The most legendary weapon of all, Excalibur, containing the soul of the mighty dragon Caliburn. An ancient power who strikes a deal with Arthur, allowing him to wield this powerful relic, but at a cost. Standing in his way is the power-hungry usurper, King Lot and other formidable foes that must be defeated on your journey. Assemble a squad of heroes, including loyal knights, powerful mages, and mythical creatures, each with their own set of skills and attributes. When it comes to combat, King Arthur legend... Hello? No, oh, this! It's for you. And at number 10, finally out of his pre-registration state 2 and available worldwide, already downloaded almost 5 freaking million times on the Play Store alone, it's actually the number one free-to-play RPG awarded game of the year, Harry Potter Magic Awakened. If you saw the Hogwarts Legacy open world game for consoles and PCs, but you only have this phone to play with, don't even think twice, because honestly, even though it is a car based RPG strategy, what we got here, it is nothing short than Hogwarts Legacy in quality. This game is free, the most visually artful game of the month, and definitely the most addictive, or at least one of the top three. Let's go. So grab your wands. Join the community of witches and wizards and prepare to master the magic.
발두루의 허츠를 둘러싼 워 멸망의 위기에 빠진 미드가르드 영웅들이여 뭉쳐라 지금 사전예약 진행 중